on this long ass hike and he's not overheating. It's a very hot day. Yeah. He's not foaming out his mouth. He's not stopping. He's not laying down. Exactly. Every, like every fucking 10 yards trying to get a rest. Mm -hmm. We need to. He's keeping up. So video. He's not running around like Nye is, but he's keeping up. And you know, this has been, what time is it? Six or seven. Seven? Now. This has been like three, four hours of activity. Yeah. Like we left the house at three. So it's been straight up four hours of running around doing stuff. And he's still going. Them fucking bullies, forget it. They wouldn't have been able to do what we did at the dog park. Never mind all this. Good girl. But this is definitely the perfect showcase of why Dro, you know, is healthy, well-bred, a working bully. And yeah, you got to Exactly. And if you want your dog to be able to go on hikes, to be able to do activities, then you need to make sure that the bully you're getting is well-bred. And not one of them fucking exotic, fake-ass bullies that shouldn't even be being bred. <laughs> and everyone wants them. And I don't understand why, like, they're, like, there's a there's a lot of people at these bully shows. Yeah, there's a lot of them, so you're right. There's a like, lot of people that look at them like they're the prototype and they're the best American bully. Oh, yeah. You saw the videos of those the people at the shows, and that's all you fucking saw. Yeah. Bye, no. Piggies everywhere. You know, and I don't. I just don't understand. Good girl. Why someone? I mean, I guess those people don't really want dogs to be a companion or something. They want them to show off. I don't know. But they clearly don't want them to work or do activities with. That's my good boy. Yeah. Hey, we got some help to do. We do. I'm gonna get some help to do a cigarette. There ain't no reason to be a fucking animal. And you're in that your animal can't keep up with, you know, you. For a walk. Yeah, for, for like any, anything. Yeah. Well, I can see if some dogs. Hey, like, no! Come on! Come here, baby. Good girl. I can see if some dogs couldn't, like, pull, or if some dogs couldn't, you know, like, do the stuff that Nye does or whatever, right? But there's no reason that a dog shouldn't be able to do basic shit. Like, basic shit, like go on a hike. Your dog can't even go on a walk or go on a hike. That's not okay. There's something wrong there. Can't even walk your dog down the fucking street. No. Yeah, that's just not something that any human being should want. If you want that, get a French bulldog or something. Shouldn't be. They got four legs and they're animals, like, you know how I, like, if it is, like, the, like, the, the breed has no chance of surviving in the wild, like, at all. Ever. Like, you know, no like, that dog cut would not be established. Mm -mm. Couldn't, it couldn't hunt, it couldn't catch food. It, like that fucking, um, liger shit. The liger? Yeah. The tie and liger, right? Exactly. Just, you know, like, they're, they, they're, they just can't perform when you put them together. Nye! It's kind of a similar thing. Exactly. And, come on, baby. Exactly. And people bred them to have something to look at. Yeah. But they can't do anything. Nothing. And you're just wasting life. Like, what the hell? What type of life is that for an hey. animal? Especially an animal like a lion or a tiger that, you know, is a wild animal. and needs to be, like... In the wild, right? 
they like to run and hunt and do all the things they like to do. Why would you waste life by keeping it in the damn cage 24 seven? That's not cool. But that's basically what these companion bullies are. Good boy, Dro. Good boy. Good girl, Nye. That's basically what these companions are. Companion bullies are is a waste of life. Come on. Like, and you can categorize that in so many different it's ways. It's a waste of life, and, and what makes it worse is that it's an uncomfortable life, too. Mm-hmm. It's a life of pain. Suffering. Agony. All their instincts, all their emotions are, are telling them to go run, go jump, go bite, go crazy. You know, all, all the instincts in them because you're putting all these working dogs to get together. Dog. So their brain is all fucked up. Exactly. Their brain wants to do everything that they see the other dogs doing. But they can't. They can't do it. Like, they, they, their instincts are telling them to give it a shot, but they can't. So I'm sure they're, they're like, stressful. Exactly. Come on, baby. Dro. You got pee? Come on. Good boy. Exactly. And that was the, the best point that you could make is that Imagine what type of emotional damage, mental damage that's doing to the dog that they can't carry out their instincts. Right. And what their brain is telling them to do. They physically can't do it. That is horrible. Yeah, that would make you miserable. Like, that's like kind of like getting in a coma. It is, or like being in a wheelchair. You know, as a little kid, seeing all your friends play. And you just want to get up and play with them. Yeah. And you can't do anything. Yeah. And there is kids like that, and it's unfortunate. Yeah, but we're not purposely putting them out there. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And we're not purposely kids, freaking having them. We feel bad for all those kids. Like, their brains is working. Kids that, like, with cancer, all that stuff. Their brains working just like the other kids. They see them out there with the balloons, the basketballs, the baseballs, the footballs, the playground. They want to get out there and do the same shit. They can't. They can't. So, you know, they're sad. They're stressed. It's the they same are. Thing with the dog. Those kids go through it, and you know, dogs feel emotions, have emotions just like we do. Mm -hmm. So why is that any different? Dogs are one of the more emotional creatures. Exactly. Not, not easy on that one. Is that a butterfly? Yeah. yeah. Why is it any different? Why is it okay to basically put a dog in a wheelchair? You're basically birthing and breeding dogs. Putting them in this world to be crippled. <laughs> You're putting working dogs, mixing a bunch of working dogs, dogs that were bred to work together. And they can't do it. They can't work. It's fucked up. It's not cool. And then there's so many people supporting it. Buying these dogs, thinking they're so awesome. They're so cool. They look so cool. Yeah, there's so many... To, to the dog and another thing is people also aren't aren't even getting the exotic unmovable bully so yeah. they're not even getting no, like the bad bully that we just were talking about those dogs the people are sometimes flipping up mm -hmm. and they're not like they can't breed that perfect exotic bully so they will breed a dog like dro or something that actually could work but it's not what people want right so they end up, so now these dogs end up in bad homes mm -hmm. or whatever, and then they end up biting somebody or such and such and giving the pit bull a bad name. Yep. So not only are you hurting the dogs that are coming out the way you want, but the dogs that aren't coming out the way you want are falling in the careless owner's hands and they're getting more and more populated. Shelters. And then, and then they're biting people. I feel like I just got one. And they're biting people in, um, and and uh no and, and it's giving the dog that you know it's it's you know mostly based after a pit bull like a bad name a bad unrightfully name. so exactly because exactly you're there, gonna there's a lot of people you know trying to make those bullies they don't got like the real pit bull to do tell me you went to the animal shelter and every dog in there that they bring them to the pit bulls and he said you only see like one real pit bull yeah and like a lot of those dogs. You know what I'm saying? Of course. They bite Absolutely. And even... Up in the shelter, people are starting to ban pit bulls, and it's not even because of 
their actions. It's the not. Actions. It's not. It's really not. You're, they're they're being put in res- irresponsible owners' hands. Oh, no. Come here, girl. And then you know, even that plays off of like. Come here, girl. Even the companion bullies. Girl. You know, like they're being cooped up in the house because they physically can't do what they need to do, right? Mm-hmm. That brings all this anxiety and stuff. And then those type of dogs are, are likely to bite people too. Because, like, their heads are all messed up. Mm-hmm. They don't know what the hell is going on. They're, they're distressed. They're living in basically agony. You know, and then they do something fucked up. It also puts a stigma on good dogs. It, it puts this bad name on them because they're considered to be that same breed, right? A lot of people, if one of those companion bullies did something, a lot of people would label them as a, as a pit bull. Yes, yes. Newspapers, the news, that's what they would label them as. Yep, but in all reality, that was really... Exactly. That was really a freaking bully that was poorly bred. And, you know, fucked up in the head.